where history's greediest billionaires' $58 billion ended up. Ingvar Kamprad was one of the thriftiest billionaires of all time. He founded the furniture giant IKEA. His net worth reached $58 billion. Yet he reputedly reused tea bags. Kamprad urged IKEA staff to ride on both sides of the paper. For years his car was an old 1993 Volvo. He abandoned it only when it was no longer unsafe. His heirs did not inherit IKEA control. In fact, Comprod crafted a scheme blocking any person's ownership. Comprod built one of the largest self-made fortunes in the world. He was born in Sweden in 1926. His entrepreneurial spirit surfaced early on. At five, Comprod started selling matches. At 10, he began biking around his neighborhood. He'd go door to door, selling Christmas decorations, fish, and pencils. Dyslexia made schooling challenging for him. When he was 17, his father rewarded his good grades with cash. Comprod used that money to launch IKEA in 1943. Initially, IKEA didn't sell any furniture. Comprod started by offering small household items, like frames. The modest beginning grew into a global empire. In 1956, Comprod transformed the furniture business. He pioneered the flat pack method, now associated with IKEA. This approach reduced costs significantly. Consumers bought furniture unassembled in pieces. They built the items themselves after purchase. Comprod was famously thrifty despite his wealth. He drove the same 1993 Volvo for 20 years. It was a 240 GL model, originally worth $22,000. Someone convinced him the old car was too unsafe. Only then did he part with the Volvo. Comprod maintained a strict personal budget. He once complained that a $27 haircut was too pricey. He bought clothes from flea markets. He always flew economy class. On trips, he stayed at budget hotels. He even reused tea bags to save money. In 1973, Comprod relocated IKEA from Sweden to Denmark. The reason was to dodge high business taxes. Comprod and his family also left Sweden. They moved to Switzerland to avoid rising taxes. In 1976, Comprod penned a testament of a furniture dealer. It was a pamphlet of guidelines for IKEA employees. Comprod stated that wasting resources is a mortal sin at IKEA. He urged his staff to write on both sides of the paper. IKEA employees still follow these guidelines today. Comprod spent his final years back in Sweden. He lived to be 91 years old. He had an adopted daughter and three biological sons. The sons hold power at IKEA, but they don't own the company, even with their father dead. Comprod created a complex corporate structure. It included a charitable arm and a retail arm. The Dutch IKEA group belongs to the Stichting Inca Foundation. This foundation is also IKEA's charity arm. Its funds can only be reinvested in the IKEA group or donated to charity. The foundation basically belongs to itself. No individual, not even direct heirs can own it. So part of Comprod's wealth wasn't really his. His family only inherited Econo Group worth $1.5 billion. Half of his estate went to projects in the Norland region. Comprod envisioned developing this underpopulated part of Sweden 